This is Dakota News Now, your first alert station. Friends, family, community members, law enforcement officers from across the area and the nation coming together today to honor Moody County Chief Deputy Ken Prorock. Today, the 21-year veteran of the force was laid to rest. He tragically passed away in the line of duty this last Friday. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Allen. A large turnout for today's funeral for Chief Deputy Ken Prorock. Friends, family, fellow officers went to Madison to honor him as he was laid to rest. Dakota News Now photojournalist Dave Houck has more for us tonight from Madison. In this profession, um, it's something that we deal with from time to time. And you can see from the turnout that there's a lot of people that uh, certainly are here to express their support for the profession in a time when we don't always see that something that hit home, hits home with everyone. So whether you know him personally or not, you all have that deep sound respect for what he was doing and why he was doing it. And that call to duty that eventually, you know, took his life and left that vacuum. I actually knew Ken and met him a couple of times. Very, very committed, very, very dedicated people person. Always looking to do something better, find a way to do things better. Um, got along with other folks, very cooperative. In rural South Dakota, when we lose anybody, you know, from any one of our communities, it just leaves that huge vacuum and that, that sense of loss. And through his death and resurrection, we too have new life. Death no longer has the final word, Jesus does. But when it's somebody like the Chief Deputy from Moody County, it's somebody that is a father, is a husband, is a community member, is a coach, and is an integral part of why this community is so wonderful in Moody County and why South Dakota is so interconnected and everyone feels the, the loss from Moody County all the way out to Pier to Rapid. And that's why we all come to pay our respects. Particularly out here in South Dakota and in rural Minnesota where people have to work closer together, we depend on each other a lot, and get to know each other. It's sad that this has to happen, but it's good to see the support from people that realize what a kind of dedicated person it takes to do this. That's really where we come. You know, we, we come here to do that, to pay respect not only to him and his service, but also to the family and friends that'll feel this loss forever. Go to heaven shouting. And that vacuum that it leaves behind. Ken always told Renee that he would be home after every shift, no matter what. We just didn't know this time that home was heaven. Usually what I found in my career is that four to six weeks after it happens, when you start getting back to what you would say normal is, is everyone now realizes that hole that he's left behind. I think he'd be really, really impressed with the way everything came together and the amount of people that showed up, you know, the support that the law enforcement put in all across the United States. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. It's one of those days that you never forget the rest of your life, no matter who it is. And especially when you're in this type of profession, it's something that never leaves your soul. Morning County. Watch February 2nd, 2024. We have the watch from you. 